this episode, we will take you to a hill which contains aragonite. And you can even see it forming. After that, we will go to a place that we visited last winter to see how nature changed. And we will cook a delicious chili con carne with rice as side dish. So stay tuned and enjoy. We went to a geological reserve called the Snails Hill. The name came from the massive population of snails that are living here. They can be found at every step and it is interesting that they like to rest in the sun. This geological reserve that spans an area of 8 hectares is considered the largest aragonite occurrence in Romania. If you come in the summer be sure to check out the pool which has salted mineral water which is located right at the entrance. The study of aragonite in the area says that precipitation processes form the carbonate deposits from saline carbonated solutions along with low temperatures. Aragonite is the mineral normally found in pearls. It has the same chemical formula but different crystal structure. The water spring from this hill is in the form of a natural active spring. The water appears at the base of the carbonate deposits or through the cracks of the rocks, bubbling smelly gas. The freshly depositing material is aragonite and calcite. But nowadays a wall through the rocks gives a unique opportunity to discover the beauty of these amazing crystals. We were blown away to see this amazing crystal forming in front of our eyes. The heat was overwhelming, but we decided to continue our journey. On our way to the cooking spot, we stop at an interesting salty mineral water spring. The locals use this water to treat stomach problems. It even lowers the gastric acid. It has an interesting taste, a bit smelly from the sulfur and the iron, but it is drinkable. 
we now continue our journey to a spot that we visited last winter. If you want to check out the episode, then click on the card in the upper right corner. So today we will cook our variation of chili con carne served with rice. For this recipe we used minced meat, half pork, half beef, chili peppers, parsley, white onions, garlic, salt, ground pepper, rice, sour cream, kidney beans, we use pre-cooked beans, tomato paste, vegetable oil, chili powder, smoked paprika, cumin, oregano, and a pinch of sugar. For the exact amount, look in the description below. We will start by cleaning and dicing a half white onion. We do the same with 4 cloves of garlic. We clean a few chili peppers, we don't use the stem and we finely slice them up. You can use any hot peppers you like. And last we finally chop some fresh parsley. This is all the prep needed for this recipe. So let's get cooking. In a hot cast iron pan we add the oil, followed by the white onion and the garlic. We sear them for a minute and we add the hot peppers followed by the minced meat.
we will sear the meat until it gets a nice white brownish color. Be sure to mix it well so it doesn't have big lumps. While the meat is searing, we prepare the pot for our rice. We add a good amount of water and we bring it to a boil. We season the meat with chili powder, smoked paprika, oregano, cumin, salt, sugar and ground pepper. We give it a good mix and we add the tomato paste with a cup of water. We let it cook for at least 40 minutes while constantly adding a small amount of water. Feel free to use beef broth if you want. The water for the rice is boiling, so we add the rice and we season it with salt. In the last 10 minutes we add the pre-cooked kidney beans to our chili con carne. We love it this way, even if the name of the recipe states that it's just chili and meat. Our chili con carne and the rice is ready, so we start serving it. We use sour cream to add an extra creamy texture to this amazing dish and we sprinkle it with some fresh parsley. If you enjoyed our video then please subscribe, like and leave a comment below. Also feel free to let us know what recipe should you make in a future episode. Take care and see you in the next one.